Hi there, this is Becca Feekin with Amazing Paper Grace and today I'm really tickled because I'm introducing Cinch and Go Flowers. It's one of my new dies from my new line with Spellbinders Paper Arts. And so this is the packaging. And today I thought I would go ahead and show you what the dies look like. If you're anything like me, you wanna see things in real life and in the proper perspective. So I'm gonna show you the dies. I'll show you how they fit together. I'll explain why I designed them the way I did because a lot of people ask me those questions. And then also I'm gonna teach you how to make two different flowers using this set. And if you are, if you have questions about anything I've used, links will be below. So one of the things about me is I love flowers, but flowers are the last things to go on my cards. So when I'm looking for a flower, I need a flower quick, fast, and in a hurry. So that was the inspiration for this set. I wanted something that would stack together quick, that anybody could do, that was real easy, you don't have to think about it, um, it doesn't take a lot of skill, but you get a quick flower. So let's take a look at the set. This is actually what the set looks like. And so what I have here are six different sets of petals. I did cluster four of them together. It's just easier that way. These aren't running around your cutting plate. And actually, logically, these four flowers um, or these four petals assembled to make a flower that measures about an inch, which is the perfect size for a card. Now, if you were to need a flower for something bigger, then you can incorporate the two bigger petals in there as well. Now, the size of these smaller petals range anywhere from uh, an inch to an inch and a half and then the largest one goes up to two inches. And I will say that um, even though they look like they're just a round six petal flower, there are deep cuts in every petal so that you don't have to do that. <laughs> um, and so also what we have um, is a green, a little star, and that's just meant for greenery that goes underneath a bud. And then I have two swirls here that mimic greenery. They're like vines, but you can use them for whatever, and they're quite elegant. Now, I will say that on um, the petals, I designed them with a hole in the middle, and that's because I do very much like using brads, or I like using something to thread all my petals on. Um, if you're a glue person, you can use glue, but now you have the best of all worlds. And so let me just kind of talk for a second about my workflow. Um, I like to make a lot of flowers at once, maybe sitting in front of the TV. So I really made this kind of portable. Um, I am going to cut one for you. So, um, here is my die, and it just so happens that it fits right within this cutting plate for this machine, which is the Sapphire. And so this makes a very portable little project um, where I can be cutting petals anywhere. And so what I do is I normally get a sheet of 12 by 12 paper cut it in half so that's six by 12. And then of that, I lop off two inch sections. That gives you 12 sections on each page. So you can basically get 12 flowers from each 12 by 12. And it's just a nice size. And so what I've also been doing is, when I have scraps, instead of letting them float to the bottom of my scrap pile, never to be seen or heard from again, I go ahead and cut them in the two by six so that I always have uh, cutting material to cut uh, these flowers. So I'm actually going to put that face down and you just simply follow the directions of 
the sandwich for the cutting machine that you're using and off we go. So for each flower, I usually make one pass with the cluster of four like this. And I will set those aside. And then I also get greenery. At the very minimum, I want this piece, but sometimes I want this piece as well. And so it's convenient that that fits on this tiny cutting plate Whoops. that makes it uh, easy to get all my pieces set up for the flower. So now we're going to make the first cinch and go flower. For that, I need a Teflon sheet because I do need to get them wet. And I am going to go ahead and put them down. Like I mentioned, you need four of them. And this is such an easy flower. And so I'm going to spritz them with water. And the water needs a moment to set in. You want them to be sopping wet, but not wet enough to tear. And so a second ago, I was mentioning that I like to thread my flowers on something, and I'll show you what that is. I take a pearl that I get at, you can buy them, you know, inexpensively at the big box store, and it's a pearl that has a hole in it, and I thread it with wire that is, um, a very flimsy gauge so you're talking 22 24 something like that it does not have to be real sturdy as a matter of fact you want it to be pretty flexible but this makes for a holder so this is the basis for um, the flowers that I like to do so I think we're gonna get started so you start out with the smallest petal and you simply thread it on and then you smush it around your pearl like so and just roll it in between your fingers like that then you move on to the second petal and you do the same thing you just smush it around that pearl then you go to the third and you squeeze and smush and roll it, being careful not to tear. And then you go for the fourth and you smush that around. Now I will say that I do use a little bit of glue. Like I don't use, I didn't use glue in between those stages, but now I do want the greenery part to stick. So, I'm going to just put a little dollop of glue right there and then I'm going to thread this on. And uh, truly that should probably be wet as well. Let's go ahead and get that wet. And that's all there is to it. You let that dry and, and if you let it dry um, several hours or overnight uh, when you come back you'll have a flower and I actually have several made here this is what they look like so that's a cinch and go flower it could not be easier now if you do like a little uh, a little more of a controlled look you can actually take your stylus and just bend out ever so slightly these outside petals you know you could keep going inside and doing that too but um, you you know you just get a different look with that so that's a cinch and go flower and with them being on the wire like this it's very easy to twist them and then manipulate them so that they can be um, 
so that they can be glued down as a group. I usually coil this around the inside where you can't see it, and then I glue it down like that. Yes. So we're going to move on to the second flower. For that flower, I'm going to need a foam pad, and I'm also going to need a ball tip stylus. I do need my pearl, and um, I need all of the petals that we used before. Now, what we're going to do this time around is we're going to burnish down these petals, but we want to burnish them down so that they cup up. And you've probably seen this before. Um, one tip for you is you never really want your ball to be bigger than the petal. So on these smaller ones, I'm going to use um, this end. And you can find any of these tools at the craft store. So I'm going to press down and pull in. Press down, pull in. And you just you keep working it. You're trying to break the fiber in the paper. And then I'm going to go around like that. And so I have a cup. So I'm now going to do that to all to the remaining three. Okay, so now I have all four of these done, and now I'm going to thread them on my pearl. So I start out with the smallest one, and I simply thread it on. Now what I do for this version is I do put a small dollop of glue um, in between each layer, but I'm just talking a small dollop, and it's, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. It's just anywhere. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to add the second. Okay. And I'm going to add some glue. And I'm going to add the third. And I'll add some glue. And the reason I do that is I want the petals to be offset. And I'll show you when I flip this over. Okay. So I want, I don't want them all lined up. I want them offset. So that's why I use a little bit of glue. And then I'm also going to round this part right here. And I'm going to put some glue. And so that's your flower. That took like a minute. And so these are ones that I had done earlier. They're all threaded on wire and they're ready for cards. I usually use them in a cluster of three. And so here again with the wire, it makes it very easy to just twist these and put them on a card. And so we had our look from the, the water where we smushed it. This is a smoother look. And so um, there's another look here where everything is splayed out. Or you can do a combination where some cup, the inside is cup and the outside is splayed. So that's pretty much three different sets of flowers that you can make in under a minute with this set, like I said, quick, fast, and in a hurry.
And here's the card that I made with all the different types of flowers. So if you have liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you just touch like, just to let me know that you like this kind of content. And I hope that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do have other dies that are coming and I'll be introducing them individually and also walking through the size of the dies and what they look like in real life. So I hope you'll join me. Thanks and I'll see you soon.